we all know that LeBron James, uh, since he's been, um, since he got swept by the Golden State Warriors, now he's on the move again. I don't believe he's coming back to Cleveland. I don't think anybody believes he's coming back to Cleveland. I don't even think uh, people in Cleveland uh, think he's going to come back. But LeBron James did bring a title to Cleveland. Uh, he, he said that uh, when he came back, after he came from um, left Miami, that he was coming to Cleveland and bring a championship there. He did do that. Brought them uh, the city, well, brought, you know, the city of Cleveland uh, a title since what it, it was what it was like 50 years since they won a title i think since what jim brown uh browns uh cleveland browns won a um nfl title so he did he did uh make good on his promise now he's on the on the move again and we all know lebron james has a history of leaving when things go bad uh, or he have a bad playoff series uh, against boston he left cleveland the first time he lost i believe in five or six, I think. I think it was like five or six. He lost. Uh, he left Cleveland. He joined um, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh in Miami. Uh, he he won two titles there. Went to uh, what four four uh, East four finals, and then lost against the Spurs or by a record fourteen points a game. He left there, came back to Cleveland to join Kyrie Irving. Uh, he uh, brought over Kevin Love. They went. He went to another four finals, and then. You know, he beat uh, the 73 win uh, Golden State Warriors. That's a title that he brought to Cleveland. And now he got swept by Golden State and he's on the move again. Um, let me say this about LeBron James. I do uh, give LeBron James a lot of credit for players' movement uh, and their mindset nowadays because they are about winning and they want to join up and win and play with other superstars. But um, it's not player generated like in, in the past when Charles Barkley left. The 76ers to join the Phoenix Suns and Kevin Johnson and Dan Marley and those guys. And when, and then again, Tom, uh, he didn't win. Um, Charles Barkley did not win the title. He got beat by the uh, Bulls and Michael Jordan. Uh, Charles Barkley left there. Then he went and joined the, what with Clyde Dress, not, not with Clyde Dressler. He joined uh, King Olajuwon and Scottie Pippen in Houston. And he wasn't successful there. But some guys were successful back in the day when Clyde Dressler joined Akeem Olajuwon uh, back when uh, Houston Rockets was on fire. He was able to win a title. Uh, Kevin Kevin Garnett, that was uh, G GM generated is when, you know, he uh, he was able to, to uh, go to Boston, to, to the Boston Celtics. Danny Ainge pulled out, pulled a heist and got him there. To Boston, and then he traded for Ray Allen, and they and they joined Paul Pierce and a young uh, Rajon Rondo to join to to form a big a big three there, and they were able to win a title and go to the finals two times. Uh, you have another unsuccessful uh, move when Gary Payton and Carmelo um, Malone joined the Lakers and. Shaq and Kobe, but they were uh, they were unable to win a title, and they got beat by the Detroit Pistons with uh, Richard Hamilton, Chauncey Billups, and those guys. So it has been successful. P players have been successful in moving, but uh, now we have the latest move with uh, Kevin Durant joining the Warriors with Klay Thompson, uh, Steph Curry, Iguodala, and um and and the crew, and he was able to win not only two titles but two Finals MVPs. And now uh, LeBron James is looking at another move. Now, where, where, where will LeBron James go? I have no idea where he's going to end up. But rest assured, LeBron James is going to go somewhere where he feels he can uh, unsee the uh, Golden State Warriors because the Golden State Warriors were, were able to put a monkey wrench in LeBron James' legacy. Uh, I did not see the Warriors coming like this. I don't think the league or anyone seen the Warriors coming like this. But the Warriors were able to draft, you know, the guys that they got, like Draymond Green, uh, Clay Thompson, and Steph Curry. Neither one of those guys were our top five pick. So they were able to draft, uh, and you know, in some sense, got a little lucky. But a lot of they, a lot of their team, core team, is drafted. So they did a great, great job. The GM, uh, you know, the owner, they did a great job of cultivating talent. And then they added uh, Kevin Durant that made them just almost unbeatable. So let's see what LeBron James is going to do. But he is on the move once again. 
uh, when you start comparing him to Michael Jordan, this will hurt his legacy that he is. He sort of ring chasing, you know. Uh, he did chase a ring when he joined up with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. That was ring chasing. He did uh, go back to uh, uh, Cleveland, and he didn't go there with the cover there. He went there with a young, up-and-coming, promising Kev, uh, Kyrie Irving, one of the top two or three point guards in the league at the time. And Kevin Love was one of the top two or three, or at least top five power fours at the time. So, you know, and then now he's, he's leaving Cleveland again to go ring chase. So that will hurt his legacy when you start talking about him and Michael Jordan. But him and Michael Jordan conversation is over in my, in my opinion. It, it was never a conversation. It was always good to have a, you know, you know, to have an interesting conversation about that. But it was never a serious conversation for me. But let me know what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out.